So here we are in the studio. We are here in the studio to find out what Ray has in store for us today. Get our guest on, on the phone. Okay, Rick Porzi is here with us for South Carolina. And we're back to Ray. Ray, what did you bring in today? Let's oh, you t now Ray is taking a picture of me, taking a video of him. Just for posterity. Okay. Okay. This is a great t tool piece. You know, you, when you have to use a tap on something, this is a tap handle. Yes. Tap handle can fit a typical quarter twenty tap. It'll fit in there nicely and snug. Give me, give me a little bit more layman's terms than a quarter twenty. That's the size of the thread. A quarter, quarter. There's a quarter. No, oh, a quarter inch bolt. 20 threads per inch. Hold it That's up. a quarter 20 minutes. Hold it up so I can see the hair in your nose. Okay. Uh, okay, Quarter good. 28 would be a quarter inch diameter with 28 threads per inch. Right. That's a fine thread. Okay. Well, That's you can, pretty fine. With a typical tap handle, you can go all the way up to a, this is a 3 8 tap. Yeah. Fit it in for me, baby. It'll just get in there. Ooh. That's about the maximum size of a typical tap handle is a 3 8 Quite large, you know. Now. I saw that. I said that. Like this which happens to be a three-quarter inch tap. I went to a large tap. That's called the Mameluke tap. That ain't going to fit. Let me see. Oh, no, she's an inch of fit. Or a half inch. or Anything bigger than three-eighths will not fit in that tap handle. You're going to see this on MotormouthRadio.com. You're going to love it. I was in Sears with my wife last week, yeah. and I was grazing through the tool section because she was doing something else. Chewing your cud? And I saw this thing on the wall, and it's, a, it's made by Crescent. Ooh. And the jaws reminded me of what? It reminded me of the inside of a... Rick's shaking his head. He Let knows. Let me see Rick shaking his head. Yes. It reminded me of the inside of a tap handle. So I found out. I said, you know what? Look at this. With something like... Th this is used to put, like, uh, hooks into things, odd-shaped things. But look what happens when you take e even Ooh. a three-quarter-inch tap. That's nice. You can put it in those jaws and watch what this does. And you can hit your little brother with it. No. You can ratchet this. Ooh. So you put it in one direction and you can... Tighten the tap into the threads. Let me see you tighten again. Do it again. Like that. Nice. And then you can flip the switch. Right. And you can loosen the tap out of the threads. And now, I, now you're using a ratchet handle. Yeah. I'm asking him a question. Yeah, now you're yeah. using a ratchet handle. Correct. Is that going to impede the accuracy of sending the tap in? No, 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 no. Why not? What I recommend, you always you lubricate the tap, you always start it by hand to make sure you get a good start. And of course you have okay. lead-in threads that will help aid in that. All right. And then you'd use your, your tap handle, or in this case, this device. Now, like I said, this was made for other things. It was made for, they call it an adjustable, uh, an automatic adjustable ratcheting socket wrench. So they use this for like thumb screw things and, and, and hooks that you might hang into a wall because it, it, the jaws will grab it. I like the hand gestures. It was uh, but like very said, colorful. As soon as I saw those jaws, I said, that'll hold a tap. And I used it the other day. I was chasing some, some bolts on my engine to clean them out, right. bell housing bolts, and it worked like a charm. This thing only cost me 20 bucks. Oh, but but okay. the point is, when this is what guys do, Rick, right? I mean, when, you look, when you're out looking around, you see something. It's got a specific application, but you know, hey, I can use this for something else. So now this is going to go in with my taps. I'll probably never use it for anything else. Probably not. But that's okay because it's it's an excellent ratchet. Unless you throw it at me. Well, it is pretty heavy. <laughs> See? <laughs> when you, you, you this thing right here, like this? Yeah. Uh, this one? Oh, <laughs> your, your aim is very good. I know it is. I'm going to try to tap your aim is very good. <laughs> with that, we can conclude our segment now on how to, how would you say, uh, cruise the, the, the tool section of your of your local parts store. And it's actually got a thumb grip. You can do this by hand, too. You can use your thumb. Nice thumb. Four fingers, yes. All righty. All right. All right, we're done with this. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.